What is up everyone? This is Jim and today we're going to be doing the unboxing of the Gundam Astray Red Frame Real Grade. I picked this up at our good friends at Gundam Planet and I got it for a very good price and let's go over what we got. We got a very nice front uh, view of the box here where you get the, the head of the Red Frame and they get a nice overshot of the red frame itself and I must apologize in advance um, I'm actually testing this out on my new phone this is the LG G4 so if you see a lot of shakiness that's why so I apologize for not having a, a tripod for this anyway let's continue on on the side here you pretty much get information about the RG line and you get the nice inner frame that's based off of. Plus you get the, the Gebera Street. It even has a little kanji on the sword there. The decals that you can put all over this kit. And how all the bends are on this kit. And this is pretty much how it looks out of the box once it focuses. There we go. On the side you get number 19 of the line and you see the nice uh, red frame of course plus bandai-hobby.net of course for their website and on the other side this gives you some ideas to do uh, some posing for this kit I wish the focus would stop backing up but it's very nice and we go with some more shots of the inner frame, opening cockpit as well. The sword can actually be put in two places on here. You can put it on, on the leg or on the hip, which would be nice. Plus you can put the gun on and it comes with the the backpack like the, the OVA does. Not the uh, Vahis one. And yeah, it looks very nice. and. Also shows the hands. This originally sold for 2,500 yen, and as we unbox it, I'm actually just going to. I've already got everything all set. That's why the box is empty. But I just wanted to show off that it actually talks about the other uh, line of model kits that came before it. You get the nice high grade, which I'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, you get the little SD, which is also very nice, and they're also coming out with the newer SD st Extra Standard, or however you want to call it. I don't remember. <laughs> Gun pop. And then you get the Match Grade, which I was just talking about moments ago, which is okay, but I missed the backpack on the original. Like, this one, which is the perfect grade, which I would like to get one day. So, let us go over each part. So, as you can tell, I've already taken them out of the bag. And, as you can see, we got clear green on top. A shade of red here, and white across there, and the two clear beam savers. For the first part of this kit, uh, you can definitely see there's legs, knees, arm bits, and shoulders on this part. On the B-Runner is actually the inner frame, which has pretty neat engineering to it. To uh, it, they actually have the whole like from the foot to the hip all on one part. So. I think I saw that on another kit, I just don't remember, uh, but it's a unique idea. Or I'm thinking the uh, Exia and uh, Double O, but they were connected from the lower part of the leg up, or from the foot to the lower part of the leg. That's what I was thinking of. And it's unique to see that the arms are actually straight instead of bent this time, so you gotta give some give into these this time. So. On to the next part. 
which is the C plate, which has your shield and beam sabers. Looks like one of them's almost about to come off the uh, sprue, but you also got parts for the head here. You can see all over, and you also got the scabbard here as well, which is a nice addition. D plate is actually your, the, one of the red plates where you get more parts for the scabbard and this is mostly parts for the uh, shield and arms and probably parts for legs as well and I didn't notice this before I think it's on here now it's not on this plate but, but on other plates, they are actually under-gated. It's not this one, but... Yeah, like, here on C plate, you see that some of it is actually under-gated, which is a very nice addition. Helps hide the scars, or the marks. The E plate has actually the leg parts. And parts for the knee and back as well, I believe, and the chest. Lots of nice parts for this. The F plate is the ABS parts, which has the hands and other parts for uh, connecting into the mobile suit, like the backpack here, which I'm gonna have to investigate something when we're when I get a chance. The G plate, this is actually G1, which is all the charcoal parts, or black parts, which has the shield, uh, feet, backpack, weapons, all in one plate, which I can barely see with my lighting, which I apologize. And yes, I'm doing it on a bed here. And G2 is actually the, the, the bear straight here. Has oh, focus. There you go. There's the kanji on there, which is very nice. And I thought this would be like a masquerade size sword, but it's fairly nicely sized for this kit, which I'm very surprised. You know how they like to go crazy with these. Each plate's just four parts. It's just pretty much for the uh, chest, which is like the sides and whatnot, which is nice. So, here you go. And the eye plate, uh, yeah, is the gold parts. And I say that loosely. But uh, I'm going to definitely take these off the plate and just spray some Tommy of Gold on here or something else just to liven it up because. This is a blah gold. And then finally we get to the decal sheet, which has a lot of decals for this kit, which I'll probably be doing, because this is a kit that would deserve all these decals. And a lot of them are actually really cut nicely, like, I don't know if you can see it. My camera would focus. There we go, like that low symbol, I think. It's actually cut so that it will, uh, you can split off and, like, on a part one now, which is fairly cool. And, yeah, there's also even red uh, decals for, like, arms and whatnot, which is fairly neat. And before we get to the manual, you actually get this out of focus picture. There we go. Of oh, this ho next month's Hobby Japan, which has parts for the new uh, Freedom kit that's coming out from the high grade line. Or the all Gundam high grade line, I should say, I guess. And it has these are just add on parts that you can put onto it. And you can put on the Hano or even the Bear Guy. And back, it just shows you like what, you can know, what else you can do with the parts. 
and other customs that have been made in. Of course, this figure, which is now in shadow, but you kind of know who it is. And the manual, which is our final part of this review. It's very nice. Uh, you get a very nice splash of the red frame here. Opening up, we get the plate layout for the rail raid frame, or the frame itself, and how to look for parts, how to follow the instructions on how to put parts on first, and to bend things just, just to get them ready, and putting decals on to help trim them, and how to properly uh, trim parts off as well. It's also to remind you of uh, undergates, which I apologize. And then you get a nice splash page here of all the parts, which is a very small amount, of course. But as we go on here, we start building with the legs. And it's very short, actually, for the legs. Really not much parts, it looks like. Which is very good engineering, I'd say. Then you get onto the waist unit, which is very minuscule in parts. Then you work on arms, which I'm surprised they don't make you do chest next. But uh, then you do the upper body, which is you have the arms next. It looks like oh, that's probably why I shut myself up on that. But uh, it shows the building of the frame, and you get a little nice color splash part of the frame mobile suit itself here. It's very nice. Continue on, you add the shoulders, and then you put the waist connection to the waist onto the uh, torso and whatnot, and then you build onto the head, which is co cool parts, and then you put the backpack and weapons. Very short, and then the, the sword itself, which is only a few parts, and then uh, you can swap off the hands to hold multiple, or I can get the hands on there. And here's where it actually talks about the weapons, how you can swap them around, how to hold them and all that. It even tells you where you can either put it on the leg or on the hip, which I'll probably be putting this on hip. And this is how it shows you where you can put it on the action base. Which is, this is nice because it actually, it's a sliding mechanism for the connection so it won't fall off like the others. And this shows you how to open the cockpit and how to do the app crunch. And on the back you actually get the splash page for the colors right down here and the decal placement. <sighs> and that's a lot of things to say. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. I'll, I hope you guys enjoyed it as I just said. and. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.